let's do the this guy who harasses Scientologists. I find this quite interesting. This guy's TikTok account name is Streets LA. He goes to Scientology locations on Hollywood Boulevard and confronts them. There's a big Scientology uh, center in LA. Just to uh, um, pass it every day when I was going to school down there. Yeah. And they would just harass the shit out of me. They would? Yeah. Like in what way? Like uh, Just like keep approaching and say, oh, I'm good. And then they keep prying and they, they, so on and so forth. Oh, and they're would, trying to get you to join? Correct. And I, I would have to pass it every day and it would just creep the fuck out of me. So were they just, they were, this is the building, by the way, if you want to know how creepy and weird it is. Who the fuck builds a church like this? Dude, have you ever walked down that street? I've never walked by it, no. It is so eerie down that fucking street, dude. dude it's it, like, it you looks... know, every other street around it is like trashed out and everything, but then it's pristine there. They have all these people w- looking at you while you're there, all in the same uniform. It's creepy. They, uh... Wait, are you talking about the one on Hollywood Boulevard? Or are you talking about the, uh... Wherever L. Ron Hubbard Way is. I think that's that same one, right? That's, no, no, no. Oh, the one I else? used to pass is on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just weird. So they have multiple uh, headquarters, it seems. I mean, this is the... Stuff all this, over is Holly- uh, this is a Hollywood building. Yeah. It looks like a damn USSR, like, public housing. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It looks so bad. Craziest color. For wow. a giant. So we uh, we we buttoned out. Uh, Ab, you should I guess go ahead from the beginning of your drone story. Oh, I was just saying. Yeah, I'm not saying that they had anything to do with it, but it was suspicious. I was trying to fly my drone over the Teddy Fresh pop up, which was next to a Scientology center, and my drone completely crashed. And it's never done this before. Where usually, if I lose service, it will come back to where it initially took off. But this time, just went black and crashed. It was you think they have some kind of technology that interferes with the drone? It was interesting. I've never seen it. I've crashed my drone many times, but the screen has never gone. Huh. And it has a safety protocol where it goes back to where it took off, but this time it just completely crashed. And did you find the drone? I did, yeah. Okay. Destroyed. Oh, it was ruined. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I think that's a pretty safe bet. They would I'm totally ruined. do that. Maybe. I don't know. It I'm was ruined. weird. I'm just glad it didn't hit anyone. Let's take a look at this guy who's harassing these Scientologists. Very interesting. It's 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 super interesting because you realize like these people act all scary and tough and they harassing everyone, but they're not doing shit to this dude. <coughs> and he is out there fucking with them. Watch this. <coughs> Streets look LA. This the guy. Look at these weird people. You guys are in a cold. Don't look away. <laughs> You guys are in such a cult. Where's Danny Masterson at this morning, huh? Huh? God. You guys signed up. That is so creepy how they're all... They're walking in the middle of damn street, too. What's that about? With your billion-year contract. Are they walking around him? Billion-year contract. What type of dumb shit is that? Do you ever look at L. Ron Hubbard? See how they cross the street? Just to go around me. Wow. Look at you. I need to get out of the street. Please, he probably feels powerful. I mean, this man just made like a hundred <laughs> people walk around him. I feel so powerful. Bus. Look at him. Tell me this isn't a cult. How's where is Danny Matt? And where's Shelly? Has anyone seen Shelly? Shelly is, of course, the the leaders, David Miscavenge. He has his wife has just never been seen from in like a decade. And nobody talks about her. Yeah, we don't talk about her. It's really creepy. Really creepy. Uh, last seen publicly in 2007. <laughs> Bro, what okay, the fuck? so it's been... It's been 16 years. Hmm. Doing my math right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What year is it? And, and, like, nobody says anything about it. And the, the leader is, for sure, like a total psychopath. That, that's not even debated, I don't think. And I, I believe uh, there was an LAPD investigation, and like they're like, oh yeah, we, we saw her, she's fine. They probably like, scared the shit out of them. Yeah. Dude, Scientology single-handedly um, like got churches tax exemption. There was this huge court case where they were trying to charge uh, Scientology taxes. 
And the case was dropped because the prosecutor dropped it because they were harassing him. They were suing him personally. They sued him personally like a hundred times for dumb, frivolous shit. <laughs> they were harassing him, ruining his life to the point where he was just like, I, I withdraw. It ain't worth it. So as an organization. Fair enough. And that's that's hustle culture right there. They hustle. Yeah. That's the rise and grind mindset. Where's AB? Is he there? Or Olivia? No, okay. Yeah, you can fact check me on that because I'm, I know the details are really bad. But sci- don't feel bad for these people because Scientology as an organization is pretty yeah. dark. Pretty dark. That being said, I think these it's people enough are of a all... story that just, it, it has its own Wikipedia page. Tax status of Scientology in the United States. It's so fucked it's up. It's a long tale, apparently. Dude, so fucked up. Can I uh, rec- plug another podcast that does a really in-depth uh, analysis of David Miscavige? Yeah. Last, po- la- uh, last podcast on the left did a really great job of um, multi-part series of giving his history and how he rose to prominence in the church. Oh, interesting. So, highly recommend He's that. He's crazy, right? Oh, he's a fucking nut, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was uh, grabbing a fruit roll-up. Did you ask me to fact check something? We were just talking about the Scientology tax um, stuff. I think we kind of, oh. yeah, kind of whatever. Or I don't know if you can pull something out of there that's... It's a 37-year dispute, so there, it seems like there's a lot of pull ups and downs some interesting things in there about how they were harassing the prosecutor. But um, these people are obviously victims. That being said, I have no problem with someone being like, hey, snap out of it to them. Even though it's not going to work. Not a single person is involved in it again. Mind your business. Mind your business. One of their tactics is just intimidation and life ruining. People who they consider detractors. That's ex-members. That's people like this guy here. And he's like declaring war on them. So they bring out these these people like that guy you just saw who specialize in harassing them. They'll follow you. They'll follow you in your car to your home. They'll put their car outside their home. They'll be photographing your home just to make you uncomfortable. Filming you everywhere you go. They put a whole ass team on you. And I guarantee this guy's being harassed to shit. We should contact him. I gotta know. You looking but to get your harassed? Problem again? Business. I'm talking you know what the problem is? Scientologists and where's Shelly at? Where's Shelly? What was that? Where's Shelly at? What was that? Where's Shelly? I don't know what you're talking about. Look how crazy he gets. I truly Look don't. at the Sea Org weirdos. Look what at the side. Get out of my way. Don't, don't you get in my face. Don't you get in my face. You touch me. I have a right to defend myself and I sure as fuck will. <laughs> Look at all the Sea Org Dude, I gotta say, I love this guy. All right. He out crazy him. Like, that's what's wild. The guy just turned around and started walking. <laughs> yeah, he's like, like oh, okay. You know? Because yeah. usually there's clips you'll see, even in the airport, people, they'll follow you into the airport. Three of them get in your face and film you and call you like the worst names. Don't right. touch me again. There you go. Don't right. touch me again. All right. Don't touch me again. Why are you gonna get push out my me fucking or something? Face. Are you get gonna push me? I'm gonna push me. Let's look inside here. Don't touch me again. That? That's another time I told you don't touch me. Let's look inside of here. Are you yeah. gonna do that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I want to see it. Shut your mouth. I want to see Shut it. Shut your mouth. I, I really want So hold on. I am so interested in his story about why he cares so much and about if he's being harassed a lot. This guy's super interesting, though. There's a whole bunch. Here, let's see another one. Making some Scientologist recruiters scatter on Hollywood Boulevard. Let's see. <laughs> Streets LA once again is the user. Oh, they got all the cultists out here. Look at all the cultists. They even have the black one. They got the black cultists. Look at them. Look at them. Look at this guy. Check out his corset. It's tight as shit as usual. No, nah, don't do it. Hold, hold the phone. <laughs> that is so tight as shit as usual. <laughs> hold the phone. You cannot be making him wear that shit. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Come be a. Uh, what the uh, fuck is this outfit? <laughs> good question. Hmm. The standard <laughs> fit on the vest. Hold tight. the phone, man. You cannot put him out there like that. You're not going to get anyone up. to come inside when dressed like a damn bellboy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job, baby, in a bellboy. Just a little guy, play. Why is he so tight? tight? Nah, don't do it. Nope, nope. Right 
They must have a really hard time recruiting new people these days. No, don't do it. It's cold. There's been so it much is tight that is. That's like uh, a layer of skin. conversation about it. You might as well tattoo that on me, man. Come on now. <laughs> Did you ever think 15 years ago you'd be out here doing this? Did you ever think that? Come on. And they always got, their shoes are always too big. Every last one of them. The shoes are always way too big. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another thing. This is one of the services that Scientology, they have like a whole building, a whole program dedicated to coddling and enticing celebrities because they know that all these celebrities that join Scientology is a massive influence on people coming and joining the, the church. And so women who accuse Danny Masterson of R-wording them says Scientology helped silence them uh, while they were in the church. And that, of course, is corroborated. We know that, that this happens in the church, that, you know, John Travolta, Tom Cruise, those guys are all part of this celebrity enclave, and I guarantee those motherfuckers got some dark skeletons. That's how they lock them in there. But they also protect them, and they make them feel like gods. You see how they treat Tom Cruise? They well, like well, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I think it, there's some... Hold on. <laughs> Tom Cruise point. deserves to be treated <laughs> yeah. that well, is the thing. Hold on. It's hold not up, a great hold example. On, hold, on. hold up Tom Cruise at <laughs> David Miscavige's birthday party. Yeah, and his buddy. They're best friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're best friends. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, he's Ethan Hunt. I mean... He just likes to come... Yeah, he just likes him because he's taller than him. One guy who's taller than him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a clip of Tom uh, at his birthday party. Wow, he is little. How tall is David? 5'2". Whoa! 5'2"? He's a little man. 5'2 with a little attitude. 5'2 with a big religious organization. <laughs> wow. Go go five foot foot two two in your feet and cold. cold. Thanks for rounds. So, are, can you reach out, Olivia? Or, yeah, let's yeah. find out. Let's are, are you willing to get your family harassed for the next ten years by? No, they're not. I, listen, I'm Is not. Is it worth it? I don't think they consider me a threat. I'm not out there harassing them. If you platform also, this guy and start talking about them a lot, they'll they'll come harass you. Nah, also, um, so. Alexa Nicholas. I don't know why you'd think that they wouldn't. I've talked mm. about Scientology a lot on this show. Mm. Yeah, have we really though? The documentary came out. We were covering it extensively. Yeah, I mean, it's different to start platforming. I mean, shit, it'd be good content. Are... Um, Alexa, Same. Alexa Nicholas, the person we interviewed when um the Jonah Hill stuff was coming out, she's been pioneering a lot of um protests of Scientology right now. Hold on, what does she have to do with the Jonah Hill? We interviewed. She came out and said that um. I don't remember if she was on Zoe 101. Yeah, yeah, she was on Zoe 101. She was oh, at a party when she was 16. Then we talked to her. Yeah, she's a science ex Scientologist. No, 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 no. She's protesting Scientology I right see, now. I see. Like she's involved in that. Dude, I gotta say, Tom Cruise is fucking cool as hell. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He deserves to be treated that well. Is that Miscavige on the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm uh, I'm rethinking Scientology here. <laughs> Zach's thinking of stopping by. You like that blue building? They got Riz. Go. I mean, if I could hang out with Tom Cruise, I mean, that'd be fucking wicked. See if you dude. can get the celebrity cloud Dude, access. This yeah. clip I just sent is maybe the one? Yeah, that, I think so. I think so. This Because this one's pretty wild. This I have a timestamp to the, the climax of the video here. <laughs> this is like cartoonishly. Yeah. Look at this shit. Here, I'll show you from the beginning. This is only a minute long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're to answer your question seriously, I really doubt that they would bother me. But if they do, then they're just another moron. In my life, trying to bother me. <laughs> You're gonna take them down. I mean, I hate when people try to fuck with you to make you stop talking about them. Historically, that right. never worked. I, when, frankly, I, if we didn't live in Los Angeles, I wouldn't be as worried about it. But it seems like it wouldn't be a big hassle for them to come around. What are they gonna do? Yeah. I'm literally at home or in the office. Right. Both. Well, you just said office. they'll follow you home, take pictures they of your car. They yeah. can follow be weirdos. Home, but it's gated. They can't get inside. They uh, might message uh, you on Instagram and tell you to govern yourself accordingly. <laughs> <Right. That's> true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, lots of people talk about Scientology. It's true, but I, I just specifically platforming the guy that the that audit guy just because they. He seems to be in their crosshairs, you know what I mean? I support what he does, man. Sure. I mean, I haven't seen a lot, all of it, but from what I can see. Yeah. 
seems like a he's on a righteous uh, a righteous adventure. And mm-hmm. I do wonder if it's affected him if someone he loves is in there or if he's an ex member or something. Right. It seems personal, right? Yeah, it seems personal. It does, yeah. Anyway, here's Tommy. These are the times now, people. Okay? These are the times. That goofy we will oversized all... ass award. <laughs> like karate medal. Yeah. <laughs> Were you there? What did you do? I think you know that I am there for you. And I do care so very, very, very much. So what do you say? We need to clean this place up? They, They think that they're resolving all conflict and issues on Earth. Uh, which is interesting. I don't see a lot of empirical evidence to support that. Because we're counting on you. <laughs> okay. All right. To LRH. What the fuck? The other thing is, um, they're so wealthy as an organization, it will make you puke. Their real estate holdings that is completely untaxed is like in the, well in the billions. Oh, this wasn't what I wanted, but whatever. You get the idea. They're besties. What's the value of their real estate holdings, AB? I'm seeing 1.75 billion. That's nuts. And about 1.5, uh, yeah, is in real estate. Yeah, I hear they just buy real estate because I guess... As a religious organization, it's not taxed at all. Mm-hmm. Even though, as I understand it, a lot of it is just empty. Just to hold, you know, just to hold their money. Hold assets, yeah. Good shit. Can I point out Tom Cruise's mouth? Once I noticed this, I've never looked at him the same. My aunt pointed out to me, she's a dentist, but he has a tooth in the middle of his mouth. It's dead center. Yeah, his, yeah, and I've noticed. It's just, it's it. a little off center. It's the only imperfection about him, frankly. Yeah. He's got one front tooth. Beautiful hazel eyes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Bro, that guy looks fucking fantastic for his age. He does. Wow. Like, he looks so good, man. He he does. He is. And he's doing his own stunts. I mean, it makes you think, like, hmm, Scientology. Like, you see that new... You see <laughs> That's the new, what I'm saying. Yeah, you see dude. the new Top Gun? He's six, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's 61. That's not super old. I thought he was old. It's old for what he does. Yeah, dude, we, he looks we 40. We just went and saw the new Mission Impossible He doesn't look 40. Ago. You think he looks the same age as me? <laughs> I, he does not look 60 years old. He does not look 60 years old. I'm just saying, you see the new Top Gun? I mean, he does, he's fucking done work. awesome, dude. Hold on, hold on. This man is, that skin is way too smooth. Something's going on here. He's got good work. He goes to a good guy. Yeah, he knows a good guy for sure. It's Definitely all the Dianetics and shit, too. man, you know? Let's see. Mm-hmm. He look. He he looks phenomenal. Wow, he's a stud. He got to do something. Uh, that, that tooth is kind of stands out a lot. Also, it seems to be a a false tooth, mm. so it's like way bigger than the other teeth. I think it's just a gum thing, isn't it? People um, it could be a gum there. thing. It could be just a receding gum. Chad's yeah. saying it's his nose. That his nose is leaning one way, so it gives an illusion that it's not. Oh. Centered. No, I don't think so. Because you you line it up with the center of the lip. R- true. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But I, I kind of just see that too. It makes now. him relatable. I'm you, it's like that's why he's so good. Because yeah. you know, a Hollywood is, star. He's yeah. handsome, but like, but like in a, in a dateable way. He well, knows Tom. He, he's got the tooth. This he's is, got the tooth. Yeah, he, guys, he did something to his teeth. It's approachable. But somehow they didn't. They couldn't get the center. It all centered up. Wait, what's going on in the left picture? That's the original teeth. When he what? was young, really? Yeah, I think he's. I think so. Yeah, that's like outsiders. It's not like a, a meme or something. I no, think I think he, that's real. I think he fixed it. That could just be dentures. I think. Hold mm. the phone, Zach. This guy looks the same age as me. You're you're not forty though. Well, I'm two years off it. I I'm just saying for sixty one years old, he, he does I not agree. look his age. I agree. I just say this is not a, a pass at you or anything like that. Well, I'm taking it as one. <laughs> Well, you know, let's go fly some fucking uh, F-18s, bro. Yeah, he looks phenomenal. Here, you can see his age a little bit here, right? There's a couple sure. pictures in the Discord that really shows his age. Or makes him a bit more. All right, let's look at his old ass. Look at this old idiot. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he looks like a human being. You can see his pores and shit. <laughs> at least. You know. Somebody in the chat said sucks at acting in all caps. Whoa. No, get no, come on. out, Whoa. dude. Whoa. No. Okay. Get out. Hold on. This one is moving the needle for me. That's Norm MacDonald. I know, it but like it's actually that is Tom Norm Cruise. Yeah, whoa. That is fucking Norm MacDonald, bro. Whoa. What? That is actually Tom Cruise. That's nuts. Fascinating. Bro. He's I've never seen this side of him. Yeah, He's no. Me neither. Damn. I mean, he looks real happy. Uh so I'm happy for him. That being said, <laughs> just never seen that side of him. All right, let's go back to our boy, Streets L.A. <laughs> back to the streets. You walk down there, I mean, the don't streets. do it. Scientology, cult, do nothing to me. Nah, don't do Dude, it. Dude, they're really making them don't dress do in that. Now to cult, sect, uh, That's the like, craziest uniform <laughs> ever. Who thought that? I, I know when you were younger, there was, you were th never would have thought that you'd be out here peddling a cult. Don't you think it would be way more compelling if they were just wearing, like, street clothing and looked, like, normal? Or just like clean. Yeah, I don't know who this is targeted towards. That it's like not fancy. It looks cheap and weird. <laughs> they look like they're they want to valet your car. That's it. Yeah. At at their headquarters in LA, they're all dressed like that. And you know, when I'm walking down the street, all the eyes are on me because I do not fit in. Hold on, they wearing like they this all shit? dressed. Yes, they all are dressed the like vest. That. Yeah, the vest. The Ugly vest. Shoes. <laughs> who made dude? We need a new Scientology yeah. fashion person. We quick. do. Maybe like a cute little skirt We're or something. A time. They can do a lot better. Yeah. Tight ass corset. Ah, it's a sect, uh, it's a cult. Scientology. It's a Scientology, it's a cult. You don't want to do it, no. No, don't, don't mess with him. Look at how tight that is. He got his corset. He was like, I'm gonna be a, he's like, I'm gonna be a, a star. I'm gonna move to LA. And 15 years later, he's uh, out he's here. He's trying so hard to act like he's not there, but he is there. And he knows he's there. <laughs> Oh man, that little vest is too much for me. With his tight ass corset, peddling this cult. No, it's a cult. No, they're not doing very good. <laughs> not, not very good at all. <laughs> Angel, they're not doing very good tonight. You're not doing well tonight, Angel. You're not doing well. And you got the nappy hair, girl. I wish they just talked to him. You guys aren't doing so well but tonight. But the Scientologists, they're not allowed to talk no. to you. I'm undefeated out here tonight. No, it's a cult. It's a Scientology. Don't take it. Yeah, that's right. No good. <laughs> that's right. Scientology. No. It looks like six nothing me. Six nothing me. It's a Scientology. <laughs> I do wonder if he's out there all night. Pretty dedicated. Yeah. Uh, here he is. Uh, oh, wow. They're threatening a family? Sounds pretty in, uh, bad. Oh, this is the same guy. I love this guy. This was the guy who was oh harassing God, him in the first one. Him. Check it out. Look at him down. Get out of my face. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Don't, don't is it a different okay. guy? I don't give a fuck about it's a different you. guy. Oh, man. They look the same. You touch me, I'm going to tell you right now. Look at them. Look at I know them. karate. Look at them. Look at him. They take the bus? Well, he, he told you to go That's that way. You gotta go that way. This guy's filming me. Like I don't like yeah. like nobody's ever seen me. <laughs> documenting your harassment. <laughs> documenting my harassment. I'm documenting you guys. You have harassing your harassment. I need to get out of the screen. Why are you in my face? Why are you? This shit's so face? interesting. I find it like irresistible. That's a great. I'm gonna find out your name. Why are you in my face? left on your con on your billion year contract <laughs> how many more years left on your billion year contract huh? Probably more. a billion years huh Probably more so what's up with xeno xeno dropped uh, an atomic bomb on a, you? on a on a volcano and killed a billion people does that make any sense to you we'll, we'll do it does xeno does xeno come on let me read you you're OTA. You're such, I want to see if you start on fire. You're such a it says if I say, if, no, fire. I'm reading OTA. Don't you walk away from me. Hey, dude, he's better than they are. <laughs> they can't compete. How crazy is they the crazy? Can't, they can't. I'm reading this to you. I need to I've see never seen someone out crazy then. Oh, he's going to start on fire. 
It says if you learn something you're not supposed to know, you're going to start on fire. So I'm, no, don't, I got to read OT8 to you. Let me read this to you. No, no, I'm reading OT8 to you. I want to see if you start on fire. I don't care about you. Oh, you, I don't care. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're scared of me. Oh, yeah? You're scared of me. What about your family? You're scared of me. What about my family? Yeah. What about my family? Do they know what you are doing? What? Oh, they threatened his family. Wait, what happened? Okay, I got to go back. I said, what about your family? Oh, that's fucked up. But they have no boundary. If I say, if, no, I'm reading it. Hey, don't you walk away from me. I'm reading this to you. I need to see if you start on fire. Oh, he's going to start on fire. It says if you learn something you're not supposed to know, you're going to start on fire. So I'm, no, don't. I got to read OT8 to you. Let me read this to you. No, no, I'm reading OT8 to you. I want to see if you start on fire. I don't care about you. Oh, you, I don't care. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're scared of me. Oh, yeah? You're scared of me. What about your family? You're scared of me. Mm. Says you're scared of me. Oh, yeah? What about your family? Yeah, what about it? That's... What do they even mean? He's That's certainly bit, trying to say something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, trying to spook yeah. him. Even putting it into the equation is kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about my... My family? Yeah. What about my family? Do they know what you are doing? What? Uh, <laughs> coming out the her Scientologist? Do your family know what you're doing? Does your family know? <laughs> yeah, they good couldn't... question. Family probably hasn't talked to him and <laughs> probably not allowed to. Yeah. So what is this billing year contract? Oh, so um when you join Scientology, you 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 sign a billion year contract. That's when you join the Sea Org. Oh, that's oh, the Sea Org. Yeah, yeah. That's the, the uh, elite members. You pledge your uh your fealty for a, a billion years. Jesus and in case uh, you think that that's just a rumor or not true or something, here is uh, on Scientology.org <laughs> on their website. The first C organization members, can you zoom in a bit? Formula first C or, uh, org members formulated a one billion year pledge to symbolize their eternal commitment to the religion and it's still signed by all members today. Well, it's not eternal. They're saying it's symbolic though. I'm just saying. Uh, no, they okay. believe the soul goes on. Right, but you're, afterlife. you're not allowed to talk about that yet. But after a billion, we're done. You haven't been cleared. That's what I'm saying. It's not eternal. I mean, the, the universe, True, what, right. like 13 yeah. billion? I mean, there'll be a time right. when that billion expires. That is a finite contract. You're right. Mm. Uh, and then what? You're, I'm going to expect you're a fired. good you're laid off. signing Think bonus for the next maybe. billion. <laughs> okay, we'll try something else yeah. at that You're point. a free agent. Exactly. Just saying. It's kind of generous that they only do a billion. Right. Could be worse. Scientology glaze, handshaking Mormon glaze. <laughs> True. Scientologists, I'll say, as much as I uh, say about the Mormons, Scientologists are by far crazier than than Mormons are. Yeah. Uh, in general. Although, hmm? Hmm? They're crazy. Uh, confronting a cult yeah. that harasses their ex-members. <laughs> This is Streets LA. And that's the Weirdo Mobile. That's where they, that's where they pack up all of L. Ron Hubbard's <laughs> cultists. They pack them onto the Weirdo bus. There goes another one. There goes another one. These are the guys who harass. They're fucking anybody who tries to leave Scientology gets harassed by these assholes, especially by security assholes like this fuck. Work. And this guy getting on here, and all these people, you harass all your victims, right? The little cultists, you guys like harassing victims. And where's Shelly at? Have any of you seen Shelly? Where's Shelly at? And why is the Church of Scientology giving Danny Masterson's victims info out to harass them? This guy's on his walkie-talkie like that means a fucking thing. What does your family think about you? There they go. Back it up. <laughs> Dude, he Pack is up next the level. Weirdo. Turn off the light. We're Pack it up. <laughs> he Pack really up. is bringing it back to them. Like, this is how they treat everybody that they don't Parking like. Parking traffic. You're illegally parked. I need you to move your truck, your bus. You're illegally parked. Come on now. You're breaking the law. You guys fucking kiss the ass of the LAPD. LAPD needs, needs to come here and ticket your motherfucking asses. Look at them. Pack it up. These people slaved all day for like 12 hours for L. Ron Hubbard's cult. So they all get on a bus at the end of the day and then they, they all live together somewhere? That's creepy. What do they do all day? 
Mm, like they're there know. all day, every day. <laughs> They've got a backpack. They're in their uniform. What did they do all day? Gotta know. They play Chinese checkers. Bingo. Organ trail. They read. They made like 30 bucks. Because that's what they do. It's big pimping. It's slavery. Slavery. El don't, don't turn your head. What, you that's embarrassed? What you don't want your family knowing <laughs> where you guys are at? Don't like your family knowing what you guys are doing? Yeah, so there he is. He's the guy. We love Streets LA. I'd love to connect with him. Um, oh, he's got a YouTube channel. I, want, I really want to know what he looks like. Yeah, I'm, I don't find anything on him. Maybe that's on purpose. Scientology guard hums and copes. Yeah, and all these people, they're not paid for the record. Or they're paid like basically nothing. Very, very close to nothing. So they're dependent on the church for everything. This is what happens when, when you go through each time. It's a, it's a cult. This is Scientology, man. <laughs> Dude, they must fucking hate him. He's out there every damn day. Oh, damn. What if he had, Joker I, Church. I, I, I wonder if he got out of it. If he if he broke through to anyone. That's the big mystery. It's over for tonight. Pack it up. There will not be any more recruiting. All your actions. Yeah, you, all your actions are being recorded. Your actions That's are being the recorded. Line. Then call the cops. That's the property. Watch line. this. Ready? Watch this. Ready? That's actual. Watch this. See this? <laughs> Dude, he is a door. fucking menace. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Make the law again. All of them are going to be documented. Look into your left, your you're right. Gonna, cause you're going to keep breaking the law. Nobody That's broke what the law. you do. Nobody broke the Dude, law. He you is a I, menace. I, 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 That's, well, it's being documented. You call them? Well, you're being you're documented. I'm documenting too. And file we're file gonna file in, a, in a sense, I feel bad for them in the sense that they're cult members and victims. But I also do, uh, I don't want to say endorse, and uh, endorse, endorse, this behavior, but I won't say I don't either. You know what I mean? Yeah. File report! File report! The Scientologists are done for tonight. It's gonna end up yeah. Happening. What you're gonna end up happening is you had no idea. You're not a cop. Everything you're a security guard. You know what I do? Instance. I post online. You know what people say? They laugh at you. The whole world the laughs law. at you. The don't whole the law. world laughs. <laughs> this guy has the worst the job in Scientology, though. I will say that. <laughs> Of all the fucking posts, you got all the people in their cute vest playing Go Fish inside. <laughs> this dude's out there taking the brunt of it. Oh, sir, don't break the law. Don't break the don't law. Don't break the law. You're gonna don't end break up the law. getting arrested. Getting arrested. He has nice skin, gonna That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get arrested. Don't break the law. <laughs> you hear me? Don't break the law. Dude, don't they need to the hire him. This guy's a pro. Pack it up. Yeah, you little runt. It's over for tonight. Pack God, he really is good. Um, Sela Dragon says, I was once in, I was going through the ranks and got, got out just in time. I still get mail from them. I've moved four times. I've changed my name and they still found me. This is real. I promise. I mean, I, I have no trouble believing that. I am curious. How do you get out though? If you're in and you're in and then you're in and you're so close, uh, I'd love to know what it is that... My family actually had a family friend that back in the 70s um, went to a couple Scientology meetings because um, that was when they were kind of at their peak and it was before it was widely known how freakish they were. Mm. Um, so especially in LA, it was pretty popular. And he kind of went and checked it out and from the way he explains it, went to like a couple of their meetings and then got weirded out by them and stopped going. And... I remember he told me about this about 10 years ago, but I'm sure it's still true to this day. He had a similar experience. He still would get letters sent to him all the time from them trying to get him to come back. And like 30, 40 years later, moved multiple times, they will always find you and they will always that is continue. wild. Yeah. Here's the thing. In the 70s <laughs> and in the, in the 2010s. They are organized. Still, yeah. Here's the thing. I think with all the recent really bad press they're getting and... I don't think they're recruiting a lot of people. I think they have, are having a problem where 
They're not oh, yeah. recruiting enough people. I can't imagine they're getting too many new people. And so in this day and age, with probably, how much info there is about them, uh, they're probably trying to retain as many people as they can. But yeah, it's tough out there to be a Scientologist these days. Yeah, I mean, here's here. This is the early days of Danny and uh, Tom Cruise. Here's how you sign them up: put these guys on the street. <laughs> Uh, or just toss him the keys. Let's just keep say. him in jail. Tom, you can do it. Yeah. You stay in jail. Right. We don't like you. You're bad. Yeah, a lot of people say that John Travolta <laughs> is gay and he's cl- closeted and. That and they, they hold, hold that over him? Yeah. As a thing? I mean, yeah, I've that, heard that that's too. All conjecture. It's a cult. You don't want to do anything. That's Scientologist. It's a cult. Don't do it. Right. Right. Another one. It's another one. Don't do it. It's a cult. It's a cult. There are members of cult. Cult. It's a cult. It's a cult. No, it's a cult. It's a cult. There it is. So we love him. And there it is. Mm Mm-hmm. Streets LA. Shut up. We love him, folks. We really do. Shut up. 